Right, hello everybody. Um, <clears throat> we're redoing a tutorial series of Crash Bandicoot. I don't think I got very far with the last one, and it wasn't very good. They horribly explained and whatnot. Uh, this one, it's going to focus on Crash 1 mechanics. No Crash 2, like, sliding and stuff like that, and no Crash 3 power-ups. Uh, this first episode, we're just importing everything getting stuff set up. The second episode we'll be taking a look at the player controller and setting it up to a uh, platformy feel rather than this, uh, this this default. One thing I'm going to mention is up in the top left you'll see is a little box that'll show what buttons I am pressing and what combination I'm pressing them in. I have that because I like to use hotkeys a lot, and some people don't know all the hotkeys, so uh, I have that up there, so if you get confused, just get back, you'll see, uh, you know, that is, I'll try to keep myself from using hotkeys as much, but I can't help it because they're so good, but uh, yeah, this is Unreal Engine 5. All this stuff will work in Unreal Engine 4. The only difference being is, you know, Unreal Engine 5 has different rendering stuff that doesn't affect anything in this project. So, we're going to get started now. First thing we're going to want to do is import the uh, crate texture. Uh, I already set up folders. So I have a textures folder and a crate folder inside that. We're going to import the crate folder. Um, I'll provide this folder right here that I'm in. Uh, as a downloadable uh, it might not have like Crash Bandicoot in there it'll have Aku but it probably won't have Crash it'll probably provide a different Crash in it which is actually up on the channel uh, right at the top right right now you'll see a little link to it uh, anyway let's get to importing actually, we need to import this we're going to want to open it up into here and we're going to want to look up filter and make sure that's set, set to nearest uh, it doesn't need to be set to nearest if you're not using these assets if you're using uh, I don't know Wrath of Cortex crates or whatnot your own crates you set them up however you need to set them up I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna create a master material called Matt crates I'm gonna grab a texture sample and we'll want to go to go ahead and grab the uh, that perfect now I'm gonna go ahead and drop a zero into here uh, hotkey for a why can't I think of the name of this constant hotkey for a constant is just holding one and then left click uh, anyway and apply that all right cool now we got that in we're gonna go ahead and uh, I created a meshes folder inside of here we're gonna add a static folder and a skeletal folder normally I don't like using the third person template I like starting from scratch but this already has a setup player controller and some people might not want to go through and set up their own controller so we're just doing this uh oh no inside of static we're going to create a folder called crates the import and i have a folder labeled fbx this is what we want to import for the static now i already did some testing earlier and this import uniform scale we want to set to 0.4 and yeah don't create any well yeah don't create any materials or import textures all right I think that should be good scale I think that's about the scale it is the crash in the original games I'm not entirely sure um, I think we can, 
Probably not, but I want to see. Yeah, no, we can't. So we're just going to have to go into each one of these and set the material. This shouldn't take too long, so I'm not going to pause the video for this. Now, it is a good idea to use, if, like, your, um, if your crates aren't changing all that much, uh, it is a good idea to use... Well, that's going to need to be fixed, or maybe not. Well, that's a little weird. This right here. I didn't notice that till now. But it didn't seem to be anything to do with the UV unwrapping, because... That's lined up how it's supposed to be, so I'm not really entirely sure what's going on there. Let's go take a look at the texture real quick. I guess those textures have, I guess, bleeding from the other ones. Now, I'll fix those and give you a fixed texture. Um... If you're wanting to use these PS1 style ones, I, I don't know why they're like that. I don't think they were like that in the Blender file, but I'll, I'll go ahead and fix this in the uh, final one. Anyway, all right, we got our crates imported, or our static crates imported. We're going to want to import our skeletal ones now. We're going to import just one. This is the multi-bounce crate. And again, for these... And the import uniform scale, you're going to want 0.4. You're also going to want to make sure that import morph targets is enabled. And import animations. And we'll go ahead and import that. Now one thing we do want to do, you see how tiny that is, right? We don't want that. So we're going to open that up. And we're going to go down to import uniform scale. And we're going to actually want to put 40 in. See, I don't, uh, I normally forget to set up my blender scene to actually use Unreal units, so I run into this problem a lot. It doesn't bother me, because setting up scales and whatnot is pretty easy. But let's see if that animation's working. Yep. It also shouldn't be updating its collision at all, since that's animated completely from a, uh, morph target that way you won't have weird collision stuff happening now that we got that imported you can head go ahead and open up the skeletal mesh and make sure we set its material to the crates material oh yeah it needs fully saved to be able to support the morph targets this is pretty much all the morph targets are by the way go ahead and reset those and we can close out of all this. We got the uh, crates imported. <clears throat> so that'll be... Well, actually, we can do a little bit more setup. Um, go. You know what? Let's create our own blueprints. I'm going to put a uh, underscore in front so it stays up here. We're going to make our own. And we're just going to go ahead and make a folder called crates. And we'll make a master crate. Because every crate will do its own thing. Uh, the only ones that won't follow this, I don't think, will be TNT. Because that one has... Well, no, it'll follow this. We can easily add our stuff to it. So let's quickly set this up. And that'll be it for this video. So let's go ahead and get Static Mesh. Call this Static Crate Mesh. And we can go ahead and also add a Skeletal Mesh. Oops, not Skeletal Mesh Simulation. We don't need that. Go ahead and add this, and we'll call this Skeletal Crate Mesh. That way we can just use both the crates in here. We're just going to set this up to be uh, SM underscore. 
basic crate. Go ahead and drop this in here. All right, cool. You'll see uh, it's perfectly in there. All right, so to set this up, we're going to create a couple of vents. We're going to create a bounced on and a spun. So originally I did in my other create video, I think I used or I did damage. So whenever you had damaged a crate, uh, it would just damage. But this I'm going to use interfaces to tell exactly what's happening. So uh, bounced on will be used for both hitting it with your head and bouncing on it. And spun will be used for if you spin it because all the crates normally have different functions when they get spun and bounced on normally. Uh, so that's literally it. That's, that's all we're setting up in here for the master one. And that's it. So, uh, that'll be it for this video. Um, next video we'll be working with the, uh, player controller. Uh, we'll probably be importing a crash model that's still PlayStation 1 themed. Again, you can s substitute your own models for this. Uh, I think the third video is going to be the spline camera setup. Uh, I'm not sure what else after that. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you guys next time.